Many of you have asked me to bring back the amazing website series. We'll focus on fun and interesting websites, usually with two to three useful sites mixed in. In the several months since the last video, I've compiled a huge list of new sites that I'll be showing you in the upcoming videos. In this Ultimate Edition, I will show you 12 of the most popular websites with viewers that have been featured so far in this series. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is Madian's Adventure Machine. Madian is a French DJ, record producer, and songwriter. The site was created to promote his new album called Adventure. This amazing site lets you create electronic beat tracks with just a few clicks. What you do is you first select a blue square to get the beat started, then select a red one, then green. I'll demonstrate. I'll leave the rest of this for you to experiment with on your own. When you're done with your creation, if you select share in the lower left, you can copy the URL or post on Twitter or Facebook. Let me Google that for you is for all those people that find it more convenient to bother you with their question rather than search it for themselves. So here's how you passive aggressively troll those people. Instead of having somebody else doing a search, you do the search for them. Enter your search term, Click Get Link, then select Shorten Link, copy the link, and paste it wherever you need it, and you can select Preview to see what happens when the recipient of your link clicks on it. It will open a brand new page that does the search for them. Let me Google that for you. Also works with other search engines, including Bing and DuckDuckGo. HackerTyper is great if you want to fool your friends and family to make them think that you're an amazing hacker with fast typing speed. When you open the site, just tap any of the keys on your keyboard. This will start to populate predefined code. When you've typed about a half page worth of code, just hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and you'll get the message, Access Granted. Of course, none of this is real, but some people will think you're a super hacker genius. Later in this video, I'll show you a more advanced terminal site like HackerTyper. Radio Garden is an excellent website to discover new radio stations from around the world. We'll keep this site muted. Of all the sites ever mentioned, this one's near the top with viewers. Active radio stations are indicated with green dots. To change radio stations, just click one of the dots. If you want to change regions, you can zoom in and out on the globe with your mouse wheel. To move around the globe to California in the United States, by left clicking on the mouse to drag to the new location. And then I'll zoom in with the mouse wheel and pick a new station. Of all the radio sites out there, Radio Garden is one of the coolest. Supercook is a recipe search engine. Instead of wasting food, this site matches ingredients that you already have in your home with matching recipes. Here's how it works. You have different categories on the left. You select a category, Add your ingredients that you already have in your home. And recipes begin appearing along the right hand side. Supercook is a fantastic site to help you discover new recipes you may have never thought about making. Faces of Facebook takes every profile picture on Facebook and puts them all on one page. The entire length of this website is loaded with over 1.2 billion users, each identified with their own number. Of course, Mark Zuckerberg is the number one. You can click anywhere on this page to zoom into that section or use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. In the upper right, you can log into your Facebook account to find your face and number along with where your friends are in the gallery. Here's one that a lot of you had fun with when it was originally featured. On the site playback.fm, they have a cool feature that lets you find out what the number one song was on the day you were born. I'll go in here and make up a random date. We'll say May 5th, 1974. Then select find number one song. It looks like the number one song on that date was The Locomotion by Grand Funk Railroad. Here's something that's kind of creepy. You can also find out what song you were conceived to. On playback.fm, you can also find out the number one movie, country song, along with others, on the day you were born. 
Earlier I showed you Hacker Typer. Geek Typer is very similar, but with a lot more options. It's even used by Snoop Dogg, so you know it's gotta be good. You can create your own theme, or select from one of several themes. They even have a theme for Minecraft, and for fans of the TV show Lost, there is a Dharma theme. To start out, select a theme. You can press Tab or the F2 key on your keyboard at any time to display the hotkeys. Now you can just start typing away on your keyboard. It does not matter what you type. Just like the other sites mentioned earlier, the text is predefined. When you're done, just hit the Shift key on your keyboard to get the message Access Granted. The Enter key gives you the message Access Denied. With Geek Typer, there are also other options that you can select along the right hand side of the screen to fake out your friends. The Account Killer website shows you how to close any online account forever. I'll go over a few things. Under the name of the company, you'll see Ease of Service. If it says white, it means deleting your account should be easy. A blacklisted site indicates it is highly difficult to get rid of your account. Gray listed sites are somewhere between white and black for difficulty. To find the account you want to kill, you could do a search here at the top, or if you see your company listed, select it, and then just follow the detailed instructions on that page. If you need to know how to properly close an online account, visit Account Killer. Now it's time for the most ridiculous website in this video. I'd like for you to meet Sanger, the computer screen licking pug. Like I said, ridiculous. So let's move on. Fake Name Generator is for those times when you need a whole new identity. This site works great when filling out forms to avoid giving out personal information or creating a false identity on the internet to keep your real life and your internet life separate. Here's how it works. First, select your gender. The default is random. I'll select male. Then your name set. I'll stay with American and then country. I'll stay with the United States. Then select generate. And it looks like my new name is Philip L. Martin from Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm 76 years old. Gives me a brand new email address, which is real. And you can click here to activate it. And it looks like I work for a company called PractiPlan and my occupation is a business support assistant. And I'm five foot five and weigh about 198 pounds. Just remember, the identities created with fake name generator are not real. The useless web just may be the most useless website ever created. They have a curated collection of some of the world's most nonsensical sites. To be taken to a random useless site, click on please. And it looks like it took me to eel slap. So you just move your cursor around his face, to have an eel slap him around. You can go back and click on please again for a different useless website. Pointless as this website is, I do find the useless web to be a very cool site to kill some time. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you know of an amazing website not listed in this video. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more amazing websites and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.